everybody, it's the 13th Wolfman. It's the 31 days of horror. That's right. So it's the 31 days of horror. It's day 11 and uh, something a little special. I jumped way in the way back the machine to 19 to the 1960s. And last year I did, so as I told you before, you know, sometimes I'll watch a movie and it has a sequel. And it's like instead of watching all the sequels back to back to back to back to back in that year, I'll watch one this year, one next year, one after, you know, just kind of like get them all in, but over time. And last year we watched Dracula Has Risen from the Grave. This year we're watching Taste the Blood of Dracula. That's right, another Christopher Lee film. Check out these awesome covers. I mean, this is one of those, uh, you know, four, four film favorites. I love these things when they were doing them all the time. You'd walk into like a store and you'd, they'd be like, four lethal, all four Lethal Weapon films, you know, or all four Batman films are, in this case, four Dracula, four Hammer Dracula films. Christopher Lee. So in the last movie, Taste of, or in the last movie, Dracula has risen from the grave. At the end of the movie, he's impaled with a wooden cross, and, you know, he dies. Well, this movie picks up where that movie left off, and someone comes across Dracula's body and watches it decompose, and his bl Dracula's blood turns to powder. This guy scoops it all up and takes it home, and... You're not quite sure what happens next because it turns over, from that point on, it moves over to a romantic film where we have Linda Hayden who is in love with, with, uh, uh, I don't know, I don't, I don't understand why the parent, his father doesn't, her father doesn't like him, but she's in love with this, with, uh, one of her father's friend's sons, you know, um, and he just doesn't like him. They never really explain why he doesn't like him. But uh she is so infatuated with, with this with this guy and wants to elope with him and, you know just you know, elope, have kids, you know, move on with her life. And her father is an abusive alcoholic, uh He's, he's, he talks about whipping her at one point because she's, you know, misbehaving. And um, <clears throat> it's her father and two other gentlemen and, a, and another guy that... Th th they meet this fourth guy played by... Oh, I can't think of his name. Oh, man. Um, oh, you know who he was if I can't think of his name. But... They meet him in a in basically a whorehouse, and he's like, "If you guys really want power, you need to buy it." And he takes him to this little junk shop, and it's the guy that has Dracula's blood. He has the cape, he has the clasp for the cape, he has the signet ring, and he has the powder blood. And he talks these three older gentlemen to acquiring these things. And then he does a little ceremony and brings Dracula back from the dead. And it's this movie is just so good. I I don't know how many words uh, Christopher Lee says in this movie, but it's very, very few. I always love the Hammer films. They just felt so much more creepier than I mean. Bela Lugosi does an awesome job playing Dracula in the in the Universal movies, but Christopher Lee does it at such a creepy, creepy angle. Um, I, I just love it. So, next year, obviously, it's going to be Dracula, 1972 AD. You know, which brings back Peter Cushing. Uh, so, th there were... I think there were nine Dracula movies Hammer put out. Um, seven of them had Christopher Lee in him because he's not in the last one and he's not in the first sequel. He's not in Brides of Dracula. That's all about the Brides of Dracula. Um, and he's not in the last one. They changed the actor to play Dracula and Dracula and the Seven Golden Vampires or whatever the hell it's called. It was a weird kung fu movie with seven 
vampires, you know. Um, so, yeah, he's in seven of them. Peter Cushing shows up in quite a few of them as Abraham Van Helsing or uh, a relative of Van Helsing or something like that. It's a, it's a fun series if you ever can. I mean, I know over in the UK they can get like all these in like, this really cool hammer box set. But over here in the in the states and up in Canada, if you could find all of the movies, do it. I mean, every they're, they're not everyone's mo the most awesome film, but do it and sit down and watch them all back to back to back because you're gonna have a good time. It's a fun story. As always, like, subscribe, share, and comment. I am the Thirteenth Wolfman. I want to know what you have to say. When you do subscribe, hit that bell. That little bell notification, bing that and ring that, you know, um, that way you'll know whenever I put something new up. Of course, I am on the prowl. 